everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell, bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything on this link and don't forget to like comment and share my videos thank you hello everyone today we will work on our fine calculation here if the user is logged in they can see their the amount of money they have to pay because they delayed to return the book to the library so for that we need to start working on our navigation page let's work on this page because in, if someone log in they will obviously open this navigation page per navigation page or any other if they load any other page too this page will automatically open because this is included in all other code so we will write this code here so after the navigation part we will create our php tag and inside this we will check if the person is logged in or not and inside this if condition we will copy this expired variable dollar sign exp and after this we will go for our query we will write the query here to select the return date from our table issue book so for that we need to write it like this as you have seen previously we need to write select query if we want to fetch something from the database So the column name was return and the table name was issue book. You can select everything from the issue book table too. For that you need to write select star from issue book where username will be the session variable because the user is logged in so we can use that variable and then another condition will be approved status the approved status will be our expired status because we need to see how many days have expired and then we will just add this amount then after this we need to see how the uh, we need to actually see the output of this query so we need to in make another variable so that we can use that output so we are creating dollar sign x as the variable that we will use later for fetching the data let's see how the output looks like okay we cannot see that output let me just change it a bit we will write it in a different manner by using the while condition let me just copy that line we will fetch the value from that query just need to change it to dollar $x instead of dollar $result because our query was in dollar $x and inside this we will create a variable that is for date variable we are fetching the return date from the table from the table issue book so we will use that date inside this function called string to time that will change the date to second that will convert actually and we are writing it because we have fetched the value inside dollar row variable so we are using dollar row return to use that data that we just fetched from our table and there another variable will be dollar sign c let's just echo this and see if this is working properly or not we need to have them in the same format the return date inside the database and the one we are using here okay there is an error but ignore that for now and here you can see the date of today i'm making that video in 21st march 
सॉरी मैं एंड हेयर आफ्टर दिस इफ करेंट डेट इज ग्रेटर देन द डेट इन साइड द डेटा बेस और रिटर्न डेट देन दैट मीन्स द टाइम हैज एक्सपायर्ड both the date will be in second and we can make the difference okay we can just make the difference before uh, without using that we can use an if condition after this so first let's just make the difference so dollar sign different variable will be equal to dollar sign c minus dollar sign d that means we are differentiating the current date and the return date then we will echo the difference you can see the difference in second so if we want to get the difference in minute we need to divide it by 60 and you can see the difference will reduce a bit now minute and then if we divide it by another 60 that it will turn into hour 744 hour is the difference from current date to the return date that has expired and if we divide it by 24 that will be turned into days so how many days will be the difference 31 day has passed and the person or user has not returned the book yet you can see the uh, date 20 and it was last month and today is 21 so there is actually 31 day so the calculation is actually working properly so we can use this now we don't need to use this flow because it is already a full number there is not fraction but if there is some problem it will be useful so let's use the floor function and now we don't need to echo this we need to use this inside another variable that we will create so let's just use the condition here if the dollar sign difference that means if the current date and the date's difference is greater or equals 0 that means there will be no negative value that means it has to expire current date has to be bigger than the date returned it then also then only we will go inside this if condition now let's check if this is working the difference is minus 1 you see there is no output here and if it was let's say 0 you see there will be an output zero we are getting the output here if difference is 1 then you will see that it is still working as the value that we are dividing it with is very large we are getting zero for a large value you will see this time it will be only one because the value we are dividing it with is very large and now it will be 11 okay so it is working properly the if condition so now we can just use that difference dollar sign c minus dollar sign d okay and here we don't need to echo that out i said already okay let me save this and we need to show it here so we need to show it uh, inside another page for using this same data inside another page we need to create session variable how can we create that let's create dollar sign underscore session then let's give it a name fine or let's say day we will give the day as session variable and calculate the fine inside another page now let's just create another variable so that we can assign it inside this variable or you can write it directly in the right side of this variable too or you can create it like this dollar sign day and that day variable will be assigned to the session variable you can see everything is working properly we just need to show it inside this page let's go to our expire.php of student side here we need to show it uh, after the button that was float to the left and we will 
write this inside in the right side so we will float it to the right after this div we will create another one and then we will add the styling float will be right then inside h2 tag we will write your fine is then we will write the session variable and for writing that we need to start our php and let's end it inside this php tag we will write we need to echo the session variable and it we need to multiply it with in with the rate for one single day our session variable was dollar underscore session day that count the how many days has passed and we if we want to show they are fine we need to multiply with a rate for each day let's multiply with 0 0.10 dollar let's say and let's see how this is working okay you can see that your fine is 3.1 dollar and if you want to show the dollar sign then you can show it here like this and let's make it h3 tag and let's just remove the padding top a bit 10 pixel and then yeah, now it is working properly we will keep it like this so this is how we can show the fine of any student and here inside the books page, book request page i will change it a bit let's open the code of book request that was our request.php here we will just add another condition here and that will be our approved status condition we will just uh, add the one where approve will be blank that means that is only the request not the book that has been given to the person now you can see only the request or other book will be in the issue information page okay so now there will be another problem here we need to add another navigation let's add this Okay, now this is all right so let's go back to our main work again now if we we will just see if there is another book that has been actually expired if there is two books for a single user then they did not they did not return those books what will happen we need to add both of their um, money together so for that we need to let's just approve another book for promi and we will give a date that is actually already expired so that we can calculate properly we need to write code for adding them together okay so there is no pending request here and now we need to see that okay here is our issue information page and if we reload again you will see that this time in the expired list I will, we will be able to see two book for promi that has actually expired here two book for promi that has expired and we need to add both their uh, fine or amount but we can see that um, the previous value was 3.1 and it still is 3.1 and the other date has also expired but it is not showing properly so we need to add them let's go to our code and that was inside our navigation page here you can see that we have paste all the values inside our row variable and here is our day if we echo that out you will see that there are two different day 
but they are not adding up they are showing one by one beside each other you can see five day and 31 day but they are not showing 36 by adding up so we need to add them here inside this if condition okay let's just create the day variable here and give it zero then we can add it inside this condition here dollar sign day is equals to dollar sign day plus the new value that means the previous value plus the new value now if there is one two three four how many we don't care there will be like this 36 you can see now 5 and 36 so we don't need the 5 if we uh, give this variable after the while condition then you will see only one value uh, it will be after while condition okay i just gave it after if condition it will be after this second bracket now you can see only 36 so 36 day and you can see the fine is also 3.6 dollar so that means our calculation is working properly now there is two books and they are calculating both the book expired date and they are creating the day and fine like that so now this is the student part next i will show the remaining part where you need to do some modification from the admin side too thank you